my name is Mike Moranto. I am a North Tonawanda graduate class of 2001. Uh, played on the varsity football team uh, 1998, 1999, and 2000. Had some pretty good teams back then. What do you remember back from those those, those teams? Um, you know, probably the the camaraderie of our of our team, um, and I think it it really speaks to the, the history of our program it's it's really like a brotherhood um, I think that's what I remember most uh, coming up is is getting wrapped up in that history um, you know going back to you know friends of my parents that had played and, and you hear stories about these guys growing up you know John Laper and Stan Rusin and John Montesani and then you know being taken to the games as a kid um, see guys like Traver Zayats and and Sean O'Brien um, and then when you get to the team and, and you're actually luck, lucky enough to meet some of these people um, you know that's what I remember most on top of then developing your own relationships then with the, the guys that you played with um, I think football is unlike any sport um, because it's you have to function 11 guys on the same field all trying to complete the same task um, and uh, when you can devote yourself to um, that kind of mindset um, I think it it just um, you know I don't know it just it, it, you just develop this camaraderie within your unit and, and to be able to work towards a goal um, a team goal not an individual goal I think um, football is unlike any other sport in the you played quite a few positions at, at North Tonawana, you know, mostly quarterback, some wide receiver, definitely a defensive back, and, and you did some kicking. Um, any preference on which one you enjoyed the most, or better yet, which one you didn't like the most? Um, <laughs> or did it make any difference? No, I mean, I think I was, I was definitely not a um, hard-hitting defensive player. I mean, I was, I was, you know, a free safety that was. Um, trying to cheat over the top and you know third and long situations and kind of read the eyes of the quarterback and try and try and get the ball back um, you know I was I was I think I was and going back and watching some of the films that have now been digitized and, and that I haven't seen in 20 years I seem to be always the last guy to the pile where, where the running backs getting tackled you know I'm just kind of the last line of defense um, you know I think I definitely mostly enjoyed um, playing quarterback um, you know, I really enjoyed the offense that we that we ran. Um, you know, especially my, my uh, sophomore and, and junior years, we were we were kind of a wishbone, smash mouth type team. I got to do some um, some nice bootleg type action off of some of that, which I really enjoyed. And um, you know, being able to hand the ball off to guys like uh, Jeff Gain and Eric Zorich and Jason Haug. Um, and then when we did get to get the pass, I got to throw it to John Moore. I mean, that was that was a lot of fun. Any re do you have any regrets from your high school career? Something that you could have done a little better or things that you didn't accomplish? Um, I think, you know, first of all, team success. I mean, everybody wants to win more games. And, and um, you know, even now, 20 years later, you can look back at, at certain games and, and certain plays and say, well, I mean, you know, if this play would have went a little bit differently, you know, this one or two point loss, that whole game might have changed, which could have changed our whole season. So I think certainly that, but then also, um, you know, I had a situation where I was the, the starting quarterback as a sophomore and a junior, and then going into my senior year, um, the offense kind of changed, and um, my skill set wasn't necessarily um, all that well suited to some of the changes. Um, we rode with it for a couple of games, and they made a decision to move me to receiver. And, um, you know, looking back on it, um, you know, I was the type of athlete where um, a lot of things came kind of naturally easy to me, and I never kind of had to um, go through adversity like that of changing a position. Um, and I, quite frankly, didn't really handle it all that well internally. And, um, you know, looking back, that's something that I wish I would have um, handled a little bit better. But now as a, as a grown man and as an adult with um, two four-year-old sons, I'm, I'm glad I went through that situation. Um, because looking back on it, it, it like I said, it, I, I never had to go through something like that before, personally, and um, 
it kind of taught me that I, I could have handled things a little bit um, better. Um, you know, I remember, I remember going into a huddle. Our, the uh, Brandon DeShane had replaced me, and then he had gotten hurt in the game. Um, so I went back in at quarterback, and, and the first thing I said in the huddle was, all right, guys, I want my job back. And making it about me was, was totally not the right way to go about that at all. So I certainly have regrets over that. But like I said, um, being someone that's raising two boys now, hopefully when they're put in those situations, I can be a little bit, um, you know, sh show them a guiding path a little bit um, to the, the right way to handle those situations. What are your thoughts on the tradition of North Tonawanda football? Well, again, I think I, you know, look around this building. Um, you know, the amount of history that's hanging up on these walls, and um, it's just incredible. And, and to have a group of people um, that, that run the Hall of Fame that are, that are so dedicated to preserving that history, I think is um, fairly unique when you talk about um, a high school football program, especially in Western New York. Um, you know, I'm not going to pretend to know what some of the other schools do and don't do. Excuse me. I just know what I'm looking at in this room, and, and it's incredible. And, and I kind of spoke to it earlier. I mean, when you that, – that was something that I got lost in. Um, you know, when I was a kid, you know, Michael Jordan was my, was my hero, right? But you can't, you can't go see and touch and feel Michael Jordan every day. Um, but when your parents take you to the TNT game or, or any NT game, um, as a kid, and you can you can watch a guy like Sean O'Brien um, compete, and and then get the chance to meet him, and know him, and pick his brain about certain things. Um, you know that to me is what the what the football program um, and the history is all about. I think you know as alums, um, you know we want to give back um, to the program because it, it it really gave us so much. And, uh, you know, the history is, is just incredible, incredible. If you met someone off the street and had a conversation and started talking about high school football, what would you tell them about North Tonawanda football? Um, just that, that the, it, it's a program with um, incredible history. Um, the people that play and coach in the program are extremely prideful um, of the years that they, that they spent with the program. You know, I haven't met too many people that have been associated with North Tonawanda football that uh, don't look back on those years, whether it be playing, coaching, etc. cetera, um, that, that don't look back on those years fondly. And, um, you know, there, there's guys, you know, uh, we, we got a running text message right now because there's, there's guys that, uh, that played in the late 90s, early 2000s that haven't seen each other in, in, in quite a while. And uh, they want to get back. They want to get back together. They want to do some kind of event here at the Hall of Fame. Um, so that's what I would tell somebody is, you know, it, it's an incredibly rich history, incredibly prideful, and it being a member of that brotherhood, um, I think, helps shape people. I know, it, I know it helped shape me. One last question. Anything that you want to add that's something to this conversation that I haven't asked? Um, you know, just, you know, number one, uh, we live in a, a day and age where, um, you know, coaches are, um, you know, not appreciated, I think, for the amount of time that they put in with other people's kids. Um, so, you know, number one, a huge thank you to, to you know, certainly all the guys that, that coached me. Um, I was lucky enough to play for uh, Coach Anastasi, um, who's, um, you know, I still run into from time to time and um, have great conversations with him and, and also Eric Jancy and um, Rick Tom and, you know, all these guys that, uh, you know, just played an incredible role in, in helping to shape my life. But... Um, you know, the, these guys are not compensated well. Um, they, they do things in the off season that they're not paid for. Um, a lot of the research that went into all the historical stuff in this room was done by a guy named Brad Deach, who was an assistant coach uh, when, you know, during my years. 
Um, so they, they do things behind the scenes that, that the parents and the public never see. So I think huge kudos goes to them. And along those same lines, again, the, the Hall of Fame, um, you know, everything that the Hall of Fame does to, to shine a light on the history of this program is, is fantastic. And, um, you know, as an alum, I would just, I would, you know, plead to anybody out there, hey, come back, go to a game, buy the 50-50 tickets. You know, <laughs> if, it's, if it's something that simple, um, you know, gives a little contribution back to the Hall of Fame because um, I know when we came in, after we won a game on Friday night, you come in for Monday practice and there's Galassi's Pizza sitting there for you after practice on Monday, you know, the Hall of Fame pays for that. The Hall of Fame, uh, you know, rents this building from the city so that we can have a place where all of this history can be on display and where people can meet and have uh, conversations about uh, their time playing football for North Tonawanda. So any way you can contribute, contribute.